Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today bringing you my review for Watch Dogs 2. This is a game that I got on this past Friday and have been binging all weekend to complete for you guys for my review here today. Big thanks to Ubisoft as always for providing the review copies, which they are so good at doing and it makes life a lot easier. But anyway, the big question going into this title is, is this game better than its predecessor because Watch Dogs 1 had a lot of potential, a lot of people were disappointed with it. I was one of the few who really didn't enjoy it, but a lot of people really didn't and they were saying that a second one that amended some of the mistakes like the boring narrative, some of the repetitive gameplay mechanics would make Watch Dogs a really popular title. So did the second one actually do that? Yes and no. What happened is they amended a lot of the mistakes of the first Watch Dogs and what led to that was new problems of its own in Watch Dogs 2. I'll start off by saying this though, Watch Dogs 2 is immensely better than Watch Dogs one and I thoroughly enjoyed Watch Dogs 1. So before I go any further, I do want to say that yes, if you like the first Watch Dogs, then you're going to love the second one. But the second one does carry some of the problems the first one had, but one of them is not its boring narrative. Now, admittedly so, I remember talking to Carrick or Angry Centaur Gaming before the game came out, and the first three hours of this game are just, I have to use the word, but cringy. They're awful. People are fist bumping, saying coolosity. It's like a bunch of 60 year olds gathered in a room and said, what the fuck is cool nowadays? And they tried to make that. Anyway, you play as Marcus and you are part of the group called DeadSec. Your goal is to gain followers for your DeadSec app. The more followers you gain, the more processing power you have to take it to the man, fight corruption in San Francisco and take down all these big companies, all these politicians and so on. And it's a really interesting anarchy like storyline. The way you gain followers in the story is by completing operations which you can find in your DeadSec app. And inside there, you can also do online operations because this game is full co-op where you can explore the open world together and complete missions. And on top of that, there are side operations, which are the game's side quests. Those were thoroughly surprising, such as taking down someone who was DDoSing and swatting other live streamers. Really relatable issues nowadays. Just like the first Watch Dogs, Watch Dogs 2 does a great job of challenging modern society and how everyone's so invested in technology and how becoming too dependent upon that can actually lead to your detriment. One of the issues with Watch Dogs 1 was that the side characters weren't utilized enough and they had a lot of potential, whereas Watch Dogs 2 puts the full focus on the entire cast of DeadSec and any character entering the story. The game has a clear antagonist, but he doesn't show his face all too often to really care because the main mission of DeadSec is to take down these corporations and that's what the story focuses on and kudos to them for sticking to that plan because it worked. The issue with the story and really any operation you run in the game is that they start running down these similar paths. There is variety sprinkled about for the most part but there are some times where this game goes into this roller coaster motion where it's doing a bunch of different things and it goes back down and repeats itself a bunch of times, but then it comes up with a new idea and keeps going up. A lot of these missions involve infiltrating a place you're not allowed to be with your drone, rolling until you find a computer, hacking into that computer, infiltrating physically. Usually at some point in these missions, you solve a puzzle of some kind. And while these puzzles can get repetitive for some, I did enjoy them. It will get a little frustrating and feels like overall padding, if anything. This discussion should shift us into the gameplay, which I think is better than ever in Watch Dogs. I really enjoyed in the first one the freedom of being able to wreak havoc from miles away on my phone and causing explosions and turning people's phones into grenades in their pockets. And while the game offers you a bunch of options, it seems like it's almost a stealth or bust game because whenever I got into firefights, Marcus's time to kill is remarkably low on armored enemies. So while the game encourages to play how you want, when push comes to shove, you really can't because the best way to play is stealth. And there's only one weapon that enforces that stealth play and that's the taser gun. That alongside melee takedowns and that's all you have for your stealth playthrough and that can be a little frustrating, a little limiting, especially when there's some times where I want to go guns blazing, but the game throws 40 enemies your way and takes you down. Still, it encourages me to smartly use the technology like taking over a forklift and running two enemies over to remove as many threats as possible before I actually infiltrate the building. So as long as you use your head, you should be fine. This game took me about 20-ish hours to complete, which was the same length it took me for the first Watch Dogs, but the difference is that this one offers a lot more content at the end of the game, such as the side ops, these online ops, but it didn't have any of the alternate reality games, for example, from the first one where you could do these crazy mini games. I didn't see those in this one. So there is some stuff that was missing that made Watch Dogs 1 really wacky and interesting that have been removed in Watch Dogs 2. As for the open world of San Francisco itself, Ubisoft has never really been bad at crafting a believable open world and Watch Dogs 2 is no difference in that regard because it is a beautiful looking world. There's tons to 
explore, tons to see, tons to do. And as someone who has visited there before, I can confidently say that they are very true to the craft of that city. And now lastly, let's talk about sound. The soundtrack in the game is awesome. And I really appreciate the ability to listen to music no matter what, because Marcus has his headphones in and you could do the same thing in Watch Dogs 2, where you could keep the music rolling in or out of the car. So it would kind of keep the action going as you went from mission to mission. And I really did like that a lot. For me, I always had the electronic station on or the rap and rock station. And it was really catchy the whole time. As for the actual in-game sounds, guns sounded great, but the cars just sounded so awkwardly weak like this, like no matter what car you were driving, it was just this very faint humming sound that made your cars feel so incredibly weak. There were a lot of moments in the game though, where they replaced instead of listening to the music on the radio, you'd actually hear the in-game score, which was remarkable. And I actually wish they tried to create more music for these moments that they have in game, because to tell you the truth, they were fantastic and really got me more amped up than any of the music I heard on the radio itself. Overall though, good sound. And that will lead me to my verdict. What do I think overall on this game? Well, as I stated in the beginning for you guys, I think if you played the first Watch Dogs, then you'll love this game. This game doesn't take itself nearly as seriously as the first one does. While there are a lot of serious and actually surprisingly emotional moments in this game, I did find myself enjoying it because a lot of the gameplay mechanics, a lot of the missions, a lot of the context around the missions all feel this crazy wacky idea that made you wonder what the developer was on when they were making this game. It's a game that enjoys itself and reminds you frequently it's a game, but it still manages to tell an interesting narrative in a modern society. The mission structure could at times get repetitive for a lot of gamers, but for me, it really never wore me down and I was able to trug right through this in a weekend and enjoy myself the entire time. In the terms of performance, I played on the PS4, my console version did not crash and it did not lag, so that's not going to be an issue at all. Who knows how the PC version will be? That's a 15 day delay. A question a lot of you guys might be asking is if you didn't like the first Watch Dogs, will you like the second one? And I do think that Watch Dogs 2 amends a lot of the mistakes of the first game, but it brings in problems of its own, like its potentially repetitive mission structure, which really was from the first game, but I didn't feel it was that bad because of its great world design, which also I don't think is nearly as good as Watch Dogs 1, where Watch Dogs 1, it felt like there was a tool around every corner. In Watch Dogs 2, I felt like I was limited, so I had to go in and infiltrate at some point in time, where in the first one, I could easily wipe out a room of enemies with all the technology available to me. Also, and I hate to use the word again, but the cringy opening and the overall just cringe moments throughout the narrative might throw a lot of gamers off, but if you can shrug that all off, you'll enjoy this product. This is more like a wait for a sale game, unless you're a big Watch Dogs fan, then you're gonna love this game. Anyway, I hope I helped you guys in your purchasing decision for this game. If you have any questions like I do with every review, fire away in the comments down below, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if I can't, I'm sure some viewer out there will try to answer your question as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Other than that, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. The links are in the description down below. Check out SugarMom.com, the place by Bethesda fans for Bethesda fans. Other than that, stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.